longer carried away by ideals. I look at the Nigeria peculiar environment and ask myself the question, what works in America, what works in, uh, in, in Germany may not work in Nigeria. Laws must be informed by the character of the citizens, our value system. When I was much younger in Kaduna, there was these finance houses that were set up everywhere. In Edo, they call, they set up one they call uh, Plan Well. Uh, by the time they explained what they were doing, it was very exciting. It looks very good. People will make money, you save, you don't go to, you need to go to a formal banking, and so on and so forth. In the end, in the end, it didn't quite work out that way. Indeed, many people ran into serious difficulties. This topic for me, this bill for me, is extremely technical. So technical that I do not think, for those of us who are not gifted children, gifted brain that we can see, reason, digest, and conclude, a bill like this, with all the technicalities involved in it, I would think that the entire gamut of the bill ought to be submitted. We have time to read through it. We consult those experts and arrive at the decision. So that let it you not know, record us like recently. We will pass a law, there is an error, and by the time it be operationalized, you see that those who are supposed to be beneficiaries become becomes the victims. So it's not about the intention of my brother, my dear friend, a complete gentleman, but it's about in the real world how to apply this. Because reading through it, I don't know others are more lucky than me. I will need someone who knows something about financing, someone who is familiar with laws, etc., etc., to go through it, the actual bill. Because we are debating a lead debate of a bill that is not with us. And I think, sir, each time we are doing it here, I think we are violating our standing law, which says that if we want to pass a law, let's have the draft. Because we, the detail is always, the devil is always in the details. I, I have no objection to intentions, but I have reservations as to whether or not we ought to be able to discuss this thing firsthand, digest it, appreciate all that it stands for. Yahya has been a leader, he's an economist, he may have a ready understanding. Some of us who didn't have that background might need more tutorials on it so that we don't pass a law that tomorrow when we want to operationalize it, it will appear that we didn't quite understand the essence of this law. Those are my concerns. I talk about concerns. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, my former um, information in respect to the bill to be debated ahead of time so that you can study that. I said it earlier that this bill is a bit technical, but thank God we have economists here, particularly a former leader who tried to explain it very well. Uh, but that does, does not take away your right to have um, information as to what to be presented you know, ahead of time so that you can, you can do that. That said, but um, let me emphasize one thing in order to go with our rules uh, in respect to security, because what we are doing now is a debate on the second reading of the bill. And I refer you to order 79 of the standing rules. On the order for the second reading of a bill being read, a motion may be made that the bill be now read a second time. And a debate, a debate may arise covering the general merits and principles of the bill. So we are not expected to go to the nitty gritty of the bill in this, at this stage. What we need to do is to discuss the merits and the principle of the bill. So no point to go into technicalities, no point to go into the nitty gritty. That will be dealt with at the later stage. So an advice information has been given to you. You can now pick what you are doing here Go to your consultants, talk to them. Do you now support the bill when the report is brought or you attack it? So armed with what you are given, by the time you still have an opportunity, you may go to the, um, um, the public hearing or you may not even go there, 
come back here when the force is brought here, armed with your facts, you can now attack and get the bill killed if you can, if you are successful. So here, what we are doing now is about the merits and the general principles of the bill. Thank you very much. Senator Olajide. And I want to believe that all businessmen across the country watching this uh, proceeding will be happy to, to see that uh, this important bill says through. Whether you are small scale or you are large scale business person, for this bill to stay through, you will be very, very happy and to support it. Now, the arrangement between the purchasers of labor and services in the recent times are not met. The vendees just see putting contract or putting an agreement in place to service a particular um, project is just a mere academic exercise. When they say they are going to pay you in 30 days, in 40 days, you find out that after they have performed the required um, services, you will discover they will not even pay. It may be 60 days, it may be 90 days, so we even take more than one year. But when they now find out that, that this kind of bill is already in place to checkmate this ineffectiveness, they will be willing to settle their bill as a when due. They will meet with the contraceptual aspect of whatever contract is put in place. So on this basis, I strongly support this bill for the second time that it should say through without any problem. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator, what the president, uh, distinguished colleagues. Senator Ahmed Wadada Aliyu, Sarkinyak in Kefi, the famous horse rider. I would like to congratulate the sponsor of this bill because it is a very contemporary, the literature of the bill depicts com contemporariness as far as. Uh, uh, financial transactions are concerned. It is as simple and as clear as this. In uh, uh, commodity trading, that, that there is what is called forwards. You sell your commodity ahead of when it will be fully ready, but at discounted rate. If a commodity that sells, I mean, if a commodity sells for 10 Naira now, and I have same commodity that will be ready in two months, I could sell it to Senator Sani Musa, because I know he does forward, against that period, but at discounted rate, maybe 8 Naira or 7 Naira. And in this case, you have payment that you are expecting in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. And you are in their need of liquidity. So you go to finance a financier who now becomes the factor to give him the details of the asset you have that shall be maturing in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. And that financier gives you money, but he is taking at the consideration to be given to you will come with discount. And that creates liquidity around. And the betterment of every economy is determined by the level of liquidity in the economy. And so this will, will bring up what is called financial engineering. So, uh, um, Senator Abiru, you have brought your knowledge and experiences to bear. You know, but that's, I'm just giving the reason or reason. Yes, I'm facing the chair. 
You have protested the horse rider. Continue. Thank, thank you very, <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, this is what it is, and so I think uh, with the little I have said, it is as clear and as easy and uh, understandable as as it is. I so contribute. Thank Mr. you, Mr. Musa, Chairman of Finance Committee, is just helping you. Um, we are still Ola Tunji Eshinlo concerning Senator representing Lagos Central. Um, rise to support um, this bill uh, sponsored by Senator Tokumbo Abiru. I just want to add that um, has been said that it is useful for um, small um, organizations. It is not only true, it is useful even to government. And as we speak, even some government do sell their receivables. What will be accruable to them the next one year and take money at a discounted rate? Either small, big, or medium use this method to receive funds. And some people who have idle funds will do it and be able to get a return on what they have done. It is useful in all sectors and to every organization, not particularly to small or medium uh, scale um, businesses. I that even government. So I rise to give my total and non-allowed support, and I think that it is a bill that is long overdue, and um, it's just now laying the legal framework for what has been happening over the years. So thank you, sir, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Wasi. The Senate President, I'm Otun Bagbin Gadani, representing Ogun East. And just permit me to say that I'll be feeling in my duty and responsibility as a member of the uh, Bank and Financial Regulation Committee, if I don't rise to support this uh, wonderful uh, bill being proposed by Senator, um, uh, our chairman. The part of this that excites me is that of um, debt discounting, which he has aptly described as uh, debt factory. This is because, as you are aware, for quite a number of people who are in private practice, from time to time we do have plenty of receivables. Some of these receivables can run into very huge, and sometimes we have to write them off when it's clear that we may not be able to recover them. So if we have opportunities backed by a bill like this, to uh, discount some of these receivables, I think it's something that most uh, corporate organizations would be very, very happy about. So once again, uh, I want to thank him and all the people who have supported this. This appears to be one of the few unanimous bills that I have seen. Thank you for the opportunity. Mukaili Dokumbo. Uh, first of all, looking at the lead debate, you will see that other strong economies in Africa, like the South Africa, Tunisia, Morocco, they've all bought into factoring as uh, presented. And that has enabled these economies to have funds from global financial institutions, including Afrexim Bank. They've been able to benefit from this scheme to the tune of several billions of euros. And for me, anything that will bring funds into Nigeria to enable our businesses to grow and thrive under the set out arrangements, I will readily support it. If this fund is available and uh, we just need to pass our own bill for our medium and small scale enterprises to benefit from this fund, because those who make these funds available require factoring before the countries can access the funds. So on this note alone, and relying on the expertise of the chairman of banking, uh, I don't have any hesitation in urging the Senate to support that this bill be read for a second time so Nigeria will benefit from this wonderful scheme. Thank you, Mr. President. You can see the national national contribution. Well, Mother. well, your this position. Thank, thank you for that stance. Thank you very thank much. You, thank, thank you. Thank you. So to, um, to this end, uh, I now put the question. 
that uh, this bill be read a second time. Those in favor, please say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The clerk of the Senate. A bill for an act to establish factoring assignments act to provide for principles and to adopt rules relating to the assignment of receivables in order to create certainty and transparency and to promote modernization of the law relating to assignments wills protecting existing assignment practices I'm facilitating the development of new practices and ensuring adequate protection for the interests of debtors in order to promote availability of capital and credit and to facilitate domestic and international trade and for related matters 2024 second reading taken. The bill is referred to the Committee on Banking, Insurance, and other financial institutions, as well as the Committee on Finance, to report within two weeks. Let me commend Senator Abiru who is known for his exploits in the banking sector before he was elected to be the senator representing his zone. A professional par excellence and someone that's upright, always churning out bills that will help to stabilize our economy. Uh, you've done very well by once again bringing forward this very, very important bill, which has received the acceptance of majority of our colleagues going by the contributions made during the second reading of the debate. I'm sure this bill, when passed into law, will help to provide the necessary working capital and make business easier for the small and medium scale enterprise in this country. As we know, this group of entities are the backbone of every up and doing economy. By what you've done now, is a direct intervention to another to bring about a sound and up and running economy in Nigeria. So thank you very much. Thank you, and I commend uh, our colleagues for your robust debate and uh, for the experts here, the former leader who is a renowned economist, the chairman committee on finance, and also Senator Wadada, and uh, OGB for their insights. This has, uh, what they did had further um, broken all the technicalities for simple understanding of the intention of the bill. I thank everyone for their contribution. Leader of the Senate. 